Hello folks and welcome back to Rainbow Port 22. Here we are, we're just taking the combine back from shop to the farm. And yeah, there is a slight difference in money. That's because at the end of last episode, I left the game without saving it. So yeah, that was fun, but thankfully lots of stuff we purchased in last episode is there, but we also have opportunity to, for example, the cedar came up a lot cheaper now, so we was able to get cedar for, I think it's around £1,500 cheaper now, so, well, where's the, I've lost a header, I swear the header was on this, where's my header to? How did you end up all the way back there? Oh, better be a sec. Ah, so, anyways, we've got the header here. We're in September 1, so we're in the first day of September. We're in two day months now, so that will give us opportunity to do stuff. And I did do one contract in between episodes. I will be avoiding this in the future. It was just something popped up now, and I want to claim it before it went away so yeah plowing on fill 19 and yep one of the changes we made that sprayer is still there on the used market but so yeah yeah looking at everything it's all the same but yeah we went with the case 15 shanks plow we can go with a slightly wider version of 5.1 meters and I think that's something I'm using at the moment on vintage survival but, yeah, uh, well, I was going to say, yeah, so I didn't want to go down the exact same route, and ideally I would have avoided that, like, I'd try not to do the same, oh, don't destroy the rock because we've got crop destruction on, but yeah, I want to avoid going with the same equipment I've been using on current Let's Plays and previous Let's Play series, and just in general, Mods that tend to be used by everyone, and we've got Butchel on. There we go. Now we're getting the straw swath. And yeah, we've got three small fields to do, so this shouldn't take us too long. And then afterwards, we'll get bathing. And oh, that was the thing. We need a bell trader of some sort. And yeah, something in the used market. Uh, we'll accept. Field 18's up. Oh, field 18's just by us, so we can do that one. Sorghum, we'll accept that one, field 6. Yeah, we don't have a tether at the moment, and fields 9 and 10 are the big grass fields up on the centre right, so. Yeah, field 8, we need to drill. And that's going to be fun because I'm not sure if our field boss can tame it in terms with the cedar and that because yep, yeah, I've used that the air seams before that and they are quite heavy at the rear of the axle. And since with the tractor we don't have a front three point knee hitch, I did purchase a upgrade on what was it? I think it was. Whether it's like 500 or a thousand kilogram weight on the front, so when we use that for the bells and that, we need to just reconfigure that to have the quickie console put back on. But besides from that, it's fine. And we actually scale the farming back down to a normal field like these. The harvest does go over here quickly. And I'm already thinking about field expansions. I'm thinking about getting these fields and just merge some of them together. So I'm thinking fields 24 and 25 could be merged together. The boundaries could be extended. And then with field 26 I, on its own can be expanded. Because yeah, actually, what is our property boundary? No. 
the boundary here where the green slope is. But yeah, we've got like a couple of trees and that, so pretty much up to the path. So all of this is R, so up to this path over here and Alright, actually that is something so I'm, I'm guessing like up to here where it divots down. I swear on FS19 this used to be as with the PDA, like a proper long path. And you can tell there was like a little path here, or I might just be mistaken. Uh, okay, we got like, some like, weird little assets here, or whatever that is. There used to be something here, so maybe the map does need an update, and I know it's going to need an update. Just with a couple of things I've noticed myself. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't require a new game save, but even if it does, if it does, I'll take into consideration of why I'm not to update the map, because I'm not going to make a mistake with what I did with Bali Spring of updating the map, and then it to be completely unworkable, unusable after the update and not starting a new game save, but Obviously with Bally Spring that's different, that's basically a second map was released with Bally Spring updates. Or the first major update, I know it's had a recent update in that, but... Yeah... But yeah, what was I looking about? Yeah... Tractors and that, was it? Yeah, tractors and that, so... We got the Whitefield boss, that's under medium tractors. Yeah, it doesn't have a front three point leakage, but I need something that does upwards to 200 horsepower to play it safe with a three point linkage. So, we start looking at some of these masses and that. So, even like the base one 175 that would do, that is 10 times the amount of money we've got at the moment. Go with 7305. And yeah, we're looking upwards to 100 grand. So yeah, if we get 100 grand, that'd be nice. That has the horsepower. But I think this is by the same map maker, not map maker, mod maker as the white field boss. Or is it Julian F. Modding? And yeah, we can go with this. It's got the three point leaking system and that, but again, I am using this very same tractor on Vintage Survival, so I may avoid that. Got the classic FS19 case, the 7200, and I think, yeah, it was the pro version that we had on FS19. And the good thing about this, you can have a 250 horsepower tractor for. A hundred grand, almost. But in terms of engines, we'll need... We're looking at, say, a hundred grand. It's got a front hatcher option. But... Yes, it's got a three-point linkage, or a one one point two five tons weight at the front. So yeah, all said and done, we'll need about 105 grand. And yeah, so I'm not sure how much we're going to get from the wheat here, because... Since we're on normal economy, which, on its own, yeah, it seems standard, basic, well, normal. However, when I noticed when FS32 first came out, when you compare the economy from FS19 to FS22, normal economy on FS22 was the equivalent to hard mode on FS19. And yeah, I may go to hard mode at some point if we progress too much, but I think with the economy we've got at the moment, we're going to be progressing alright, because yeah, let's look at the prices. So, ignore the contract. So, wheat. 
At the moment, we're getting 500 pounds per thousand years. If we wait a couple of months, we'll get 700 pounds per thousand years. But so from these three fields alone, I'll say we'll get about <coughs> maybe 8,000 years or something like that. Yeah, maybe 8,000 years or so. And that is about five grand we'll get from this field, so... Yeah, that's why we're doing contracts. Contracts are important. And yeah, if we look at our contracts... 35 grand, that looks nice. However, we've already spent a ton of money on seeds and that. And that's one thing also we did buy was a fertilizer spreader. So I saw the contract popping up, so I thought... Let's do the team contract first of all, and then we'll focus on furrows and spring now because these fields they need ploughing. Actually, are they fertilised? Wow, they're not fertilised and they're not ripe. So that is yeah. We do need a furrows to spread for the next field and that. But yeah, let's get to the rest of these sorry, So we've got this one to do, and the other fields to do. And then we'll start going on to the bathing, I think. So this shouldn't take us too long. Well, I wasn't that far off of our estimates. We are, yeah, just over 8,000 litres, so... I think for now, we'll sort these in the side, though. So next, what we need to do is test the drill out, so what the way to test the drill out now early is then um, yeah take over and get the contract done because we're not going to be in the stages of drilling yet because the fields need plowing and need to bail as well and actually I'm wondering is our drill a direct drill? No, it ain't, so a plowing or a cultivator is required. Not a cultivator here, but... But anyways, we'll put this into the silo. I'll see that. Why aren't we offloading? Oh, there we go, so I was like... What's wrong with the trigger? Because, yeah, we're like right over it. Get out here have a look. Ah, I guess because it's the angle of the pipe now. It's like the... If you're looking at it this way, it's like crooked to the... Wish I could rotate the camera, but up and left. So, anti-clockwise by, what, 10 degrees? 10, 15 degrees, that's been adjusted. That is emptied. And that should didn't take the final count was at 8,000 and 400 litres, so not too shabby. And yeah, we'll get the bait done either later on in this episode or in the next episode. Because yeah, I am mindful of how long these episodes are. Try to keep them to half an hour lengths. So yeah, we'll go and offload you. That's not on properly. Oh, no. Uh, do you want that to happen? So, there we go. We've got the can -Am. that's taken our gravity wagon over to field six, where the workers just got set off on it. So, whilst they're doing that, we need to look at the drilling now. And yeah, we sort of jumped ahead a little bit there just because. Oh, I was having just issues with that header and that, header and trailer and that. But the main reason was, actually, I think it's because of the combine itself. It's obviously, they're not harmonious, we're using two different mods, so... We have a look here, so I'll go to our tools and that, vehicles. So yeah, 
Axle Flow US, I think that's by Serious Modding. And we've got a completely different header in that, which is not for the combine, hands for a the bigger version of that. But one thing I want to look at before I do this drill in that is to raise and lower this. But I'm wondering, can we use this as a bailer in that? So, somehow, we've got a PTO, even though we have a look here. There is no PTO whatsoever. And are we baiting? And we are baiting. Okay, I did not expect that. And yeah, to do this first field. Because yeah, I am interested in how much we can get from this. How many bells? If I had to guess, eight. No, sorry, six or eight. Six to eight. Actually, no, not even close. Because we've done two rows. That's five, ten. That's forty. So, yeah, I'd say about five or six bells we'll get from this. In fact. And yeah, so these bells are 5,000 litres each, so that is 25,000 litres of straw potentially we can get. And how much would that be? Haha, <laughs> mid school. Like, two and a half grand. Maybe a grand and a half. Ouch, that, that does hurt a bit. Especially we're paying money in that for the straw net. It's having a bit of a weird, weird jolt, like, it's like, just bogging out, picking up speed. Not sure why. So yeah, uh, perhaps a little limitation to that. Alright, you're at, oh, you didn't get far. Come on. Yeah, can I have a spell on its own? It's not the best. So let's get a proper set. We're not doing the bathing today, so go and grab you. And get that hooked up. Because yeah, the combine is almost filled. Lovely. So alright, the worker is underway doing the harvesting. No, sorry, taking the gravity wagon over. We've stopped work on the combine because that is filled. And yeah, now to have a look. Thankfully, the shop has loaded up this for us, so. Because yeah, we purchased 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 bags. So yeah, let's go and see. Ooh, that is heavy, that is. This is the front wheels. It's just, I think we've just about got enough traction up front. I'll say just, yeah, just enough traction to, you know, steer now a little bit. In terms of fine control at any speed, like build speed, 10 miles an hour, turn left. There go. Yeah, so. That's going to be fun. And yeah, I don't want the workers to do everything, so we'll start doing the drill ourselves and we'll rotate it between the two, between getting a worker and that going. And just, yeah, like, the left and right. No, don't go down the bank. Uh, yeah, let's, let's jump around and some more driving. There we go. God forbid if you get any traffic with this, but yeah, we've got a weight on the front and it's doing it, so maybe I don't need to panic as much and get another tractor in that. But yeah, like, still going to be interesting though. Uh, yeah, so, worker is there. 
the impulsion tractor yet. Because you don't know when you have a nutcase like this. That's thinking yet again, I could go with cheaper options, but as I said before, the cheaper options at the moment I'm still using on Vintage Survival. Work for D is blocked, so why is that? Because that should be all fine, that should be there. It's still charges us money, so I'm going to just have a look at this. Uh, shame didn't have like a plan or a cultivating contract for this popping up because that would be nice. Wait a minute, why are you down there? Well, you know what? I'm just going to take this over myself because I don't know where this worker is going. All you have to do is just go up. No need to turn around and all that. So yeah, let me take this up here, and then we'll resume the drilling. And there we go, so yeah. We're just emptying it, and I think in terms of this, we'll need to do three, maybe four trips of this. And uh, where, where are these going to, so... It looks like Green Elevator West. Double check the contract, and yeah, it is, so... Yeah, we need to drill Kenoda, and the cultivating contract on field 3, and can wait till later on. And yeah, it does take a while to empty, but we are emptied. And yeah, let's get this back on the worker. Yeah. I think as well with the header as well itself, we're having issues with stopping, so... But yeah, what you what expect, this is a 9 meter header, so... So yeah, wrong tractor, not wrong tractors, wrong combine all that, as we've already discussed. So yeah, we're on field 8, correct? We've got Canola selected. And I'm just hoping we're able to drill this because I am worried so 6 meters 8 miles an hour so the capacity is 2,500 liters so let's go and pop you down and can we drill? oh no come on pull off you that was worrying just yeah, work up the speed so we're drilling, yeah, eight, nine miles an hour. Not too shabby. So yeah, we've got this to do, and this will take us hopefully not as long. But again, I'm thinking because yeah, last time we used a nine meter combine harvester, and this is a six meter drill, so. Because, yeah, is there any other options at the moment? So, if we have a look under cedars, got the horse stuff. Because, yeah, also my plan with this series is it's going to use like some of the DLCs to do tend to use, so, such as the horse. Some, well, I'll, I'll say the Kaboo, I actually do use that quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we're really going. <laughs> only got the air team at the moment. Got cheap planters and that. And actually, that may be something we'll look at. So yeah, and that's going to be down the road. Nine grand for a extension. Oops, got to be sliding off one there. So we're a fifth done with the harvesting. We're at 1% of this contract. So what did I say about that? So I'm taking forever to do contracts. Um, oh, you may, yeah, may have made a mistake here of doing this. So anyways, let's get this contract completed, or these contracts. Because I think we do, actually we can't do the cultivate one, but 
the harvesting one's going to be done well before we're done with this. I think we're going to get halfway by the time we're done with the harvesting contract. But, anyways, enough waffling on. Let's get this done, and I'll see you folks later on once we're done here. There we go, as we are wrapping up the day. Yep, so let's go quickly at the ship, who's and off the tractor and the cultivator. See, so yeah, I've done all these contracts and we'll get them completed in a sec. One thing I did was with this cultivator, I did risk it. I'll put in the extra two meter extension on. It cost us two grand. But you know what? I think personally, it was worth it. So. Yeah, not too fussed about perfectly washing this because, well, simply for the fact that we're going to be using this to cultivate our fields now. Because, yeah, when we do the ploughing, much well worth doing the cultivating. And so, yeah, we're headed out of here. Actually, before we do, we go to our contracts. So, yeah, done the cultivating contract and the harvesting contract at 6.4 grand. And 36 grand for the seeding. That is useful. Except field 6. Ignore the easiest when I'll set up the series or set up the map in that. I thought, yeah, use the premium expansion, but then slightly against it. But the game is still saying, oh, use the <laughs> Class Alexian Harvester to do the red beats. And yet there is sorghum on field 18. Yeah, we may just buy the farm and that, so I'm not doing materials because we don't have the equipment for it. And remember, that's part of the rule of this series. So far, with the first year, we're not doing any borrowing in terms of equipment. And in order to borrow equipment, we do need to pay off the loan, like at least half of it, so. That's why I'm not hopping off all this by new equipment or anything. And yeah, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Thankfully there's no cars about at the moment and... Ooh, left our can am here at the farm. So yeah, let's get this put away and get it up to the bather. And then yeah, let's we'll wrap up the episode here by starting on the bathing. And there we go, back at the farm, so yeah, we'll put this away, really somewhere near the barn and that. So yeah, we've got access to that barn, and yeah, there's another barn down there we can use for storage. So let's go and pop this away. 
So yeah, we'll whack this in next to the plow. Just make sure I'm not hitting anything out front. If you know what, just shove it out the back. But yeah, one thing by doing all the seeding and even the cultivating, maybe that's because we had the extension on it, so within the horsepower requirements. But yeah, because of like that of a weight system on the front, we are struggling a bit with this, like it is a struggle, that's why I am tempted to possibly sell this. Yeah, get something else, something different. How should I do one? Can we just have an option? No, no. Now, for let's see if we can open the windows on the back. No, we cannot. So, yeah, one was on about where. Yeah, I think in like the whole bait situation at the moment. Like, I'm not sure if it's worth doing and pursuing. I think to be fair, we'll just see where we stand afterwards when in the next episode we'll get these bells sold. So we go, we'll just get offloaded. There we go, that's dropping. Because, yeah, obviously, with the economy sense we're on, I think to rush to have a bailer as a starting equipment may have been a bit of a mistake, like. At the moment, we need to prioritise farming. And yeah, baiting is part of farming and that. But so is livestock. Like, the baiter costs is what, 20 grand? I'd rather spend 10, 15 grand on animal feed. And then 5 grand on animals. Well, I'm going to referring to those, obviously, chickens and that. But even cows and that, get some cows in. Obviously, the upfront cost is expensive, like with the cow pens. Actually, how much are the cow pens? Because I do have some options. So, go into our animals. So, we look at cows, for example. Ignore the base team stuff. Stupidly priced, but. So, yeah, what is cow barn here? 150 cattle. Or as part of the red barn pack, bit yeah, it's a bit larger, but holds double the amount of cattle. I should know, sorry, 500 cows in comparison. So, yeah, 400 faster your feeding capacity. And if we do go over here at some point, look, yeah, it's a bit. May need to make some adjustments, but yeah, I certainly could fit the cow barn in with no problems. Uh, yeah, that's something to look at down the road, and I'm sure there's other boards as well that I can use that suits the area. That's the thing. Because yes, this is a challenge net, and the goal is going to be is to own every plot of land on the map. That's my goal. To own every plot of land, including buying the land off the cooperative. Because, yeah, so go over here, look at the PDA. Several key bits of land is owned by the cooperative, so things like the store area, the train, train yard area, some of the key areas for site access. And where's the little Spanish mansion on the hills? Just up. Yeah, this is just up there, you can see it in the distance. So. But yeah, that is millions of pounds or dollars. Should I say we need? Ah, uh, yeah, we're ages away from that. But. So yeah, with 60 grand, we need to be smart with our money. We can't just chuck money at stuff and think, yeah, this looks nice, it's a fun thing to do. You do need to be serious about this, so I'm gonna go off and ponder. What should we do? Should we purchase a new tractor? Get more land in that? Can we get even more land? That and many more questions will be found out next time, so yeah. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to come down below. 
if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to then please consider what I choose to do. Hope you're nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.